most of the practicing I do before a concert is the day of. Hello everyone, this is Crafterman, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Green Plateau. So yes, I play the viola, and before concerts, usually I spend most of my practice time the day of or the day before. But anyway, the reason I'm talking about that is because today is the concert! So over the past few episodes, I've made a music school, um, and today all the instruments will be coming together to perform. So here is my grand concert hall. It's really modern, all made out of glass, like a giant crystal. And here are, the, here are the strings down here, here's everything else up here, you have all the instruments. And I had one composer for each instrument. So, um, each section is going to play their own individual thing. And then at the end, they're all going to come together, the entire orchestra will come together for one big symphony. So, let's start with the string. In this piece, this is actually the theme that is played in my intro, uh, these intros, uh, but it's like the extended version. So basically it's like my theme. It's not really the Anthem of the Plateau. The Anthem of the Plateau is something else, but when the Plateau split like a few months ago, this is the Anthem of like this side, my side. So, Vivaldi, Brahms, Boccherini, Dragonetti, hit it! <laughs> So you might recognize this tune from the from the um, from my, my intro. So yay, I'm dancing along to it. Um, this tune is called Baroque Coffee House. Unlike my original anthem, I didn't write this, but this is still awesome, and it's in the Baroque style, which is my favorite style of music. Most people like hop, what, sorry, hip hop, jazz, rock, pop, those, those kind of styles. But me, I'm more of a classical music person. So yay, I'm dancing along to this. Woo. And I really, I'm really, i really proud of this crystal design, because there's like a glowstone arching up everywhere, so it's nighttime, you can see really well. And you can see all over the city of Manplatten here, the lake here, everything here. So yeah, I'm very proud of this. So while they're performing, um, I'm going to distract them. So this is the bass composer, Dragonetti. I had to move them, and when I did, I didn't do much effort into putting their faces back, so they're all kind of neutral. This is the violin guy, Vivaldi. This is his violin. Looks kind of like a violin. Really, it's a shovel, but anyway. This is the, um, the viola guy, Brahms. He's got a beard, which is what the cobwebs are for, and here's his viola. Uh, here's the cello dude, Baccarini, and he's got a, he's got a cello. So yeah, th these are all the, these are all the string composers. So, in case you don't know what a viola is, it's the instrument I play, and it's, it's kind of like a, a cello that you play like a violin. It has, um, the same strings as a cello, but not octave higher, and bigger than the violin, and Brahms, Br the composer Brahms wrote a lot for viola, so that's why he's the viola composer, and he's got a big beard, his beard's kind of freaky actually, if you look at pictures of him from paintings, so yeah, I, I think the song is almost over, is it, yeah, but this is a really good song, not a song, because there's no voice in it, but it's a really good piece, so yeah, okay, so yeah, that's over. Um, now, uh, if the woodwind section, oh, by the way, bravo, yay, clapping, yay. So, the woodwind section, um, they're playing some Manplatten tribal music, and Manplatten is the name of the city, yes, but the reason it's called that is because it originally belonged to the tribe called the Manplatten tribe. Uh, this is all just role play. go with it, <laughs> go along with it. And so... Yeah, so they, um, some ancient tribal music by them. This isn't actually the world premiere of this music. It was actually played in the, in the Deestown episode. I'll leave a link to that. It was like a, a flashback episode of the, of the history of the Manplatten tribe. But anyway, um, let's see, well, what are your names? Oh, there's only one woodwind guy. Uh, his name's Telamon, because he is, um, he covers all the woodwinds. The, that orange dude over there, so Telamon. He's playing all the four, four woodwinds at the time. Now, show me what you get. Okay, so, um, yeah, that is one of my favorite, like, pieces all in all, all of the YouTube audio library. Yeah, it's, like, really cool when you dance to it. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't sing along to it. I'm, I'm contaminating the good sound of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a great dancer, aren't I? Uh, is, this a, is this, like, a traditional man platinum tribal dance? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I am one of the world's worst dancers in Minecraft. It's one of Minecraft's worst dancers. Yeah, this should be like a new dancing movie, like jump up and down while spinning back and forth. Yeah, maybe like walk as well. It's like it's like a moonwalk, but to like renaissance sounding music. 
everywhere. I'm jumping all around and spinning all around, and I'd probably give myself a seizure if I if I had seizure seizures. So, oh dang, I fell fell into the truck room. Like, I left the auditorium. It says that the performance was so bad. I was just like, I am out of here. So yeah, I'm gonna continue dancing to this thing. So I have to stop, have to stop singing. My singing is not nearly as good as Telemann's. Uh, Recorder, flute, clarinet, and bassoon playing. He's playing all four of them at once. That must be tricky. I almost tried playing two instruments at once. Uh, it was not easy, and I did not succeed very well. So, dancing, dancing, dancing. I'm going to go to third person again. Dancing, 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 dancing. Okay, I have to, I have to stop talking, because whatever talking I do is just going to interfere with the music. But it is... It's over anyway. So, uh, nice job, Telemann. Uh, I'm very, very impressed with your ability to play four instruments at once. I couldn't, I couldn't even do two, and you're doing four, so uh, kudos to you. So now for the brass instruments, and for the brass instruments, the one I'm most proud of is Giuseppe Torelli. This guy, he sees as cocoa beans for his buns, and he's, uh, he's the trumpet composer, and he wrote a lot of really good trumpet music. And here are the rest of the composers. This is. Um, this is a oh what, this is um, Giovanni Gabrielli for the trombone oh I think I forgot to put his face there sorry he's a trombone guy and this is this is a trombone um, Rosetti I'm not sure what his first name is uh, he's the French horn composer and what do you know I forgot his face too because um, when I when I was moving them I didn't I was kind of in a rush and I didn't remember everything so it's kind of a French horn I guess and this is Wagner the tuba composer here's his giant Wagner tuba. So, yeah, so now the horns, they're not going to play something that's not from the YouTube Audio Library. They're going to play the original anthem of the Green Plateau. And this, this was at, um, um, this was one of my intros uh, from the beginning, before the plateau split, before the civil war of the plateau began. But anyway, guys, play my anthem. Whoa, that is kind of loud, but still awesome. And I actually did write this music. I wrote it all by myself because I am so awesome, OMG. And I'm very modest, too. I'm the most, like, modest person ever. Can you believe that? Yeah, I actually... This is kind of embarrassing. I wrote this piece while I was in the shower, like, literally. So, um, I actually had, like, a group of people play this piece. And what, after they finished performing it, I told them, Guys, I wrote this in the shower. So it was like they played a piece that was written by a guy showering. I bet they were very happy to hear that. <laughs> um, so, yep, it's almost done. ba na ba na ba na ba Okay, I'm a terrible singer. Like I've said before, so now on to the percussion. So what they're playing isn't really like a... I wouldn't call it a piece of music. It's just kind of like a kind of like a beat sort of thing, and the piano and the harpsichord will be playing along with them as well. Here's Beethoven, the piano composer, and he looks kind of creepy there. This is his big wig, and uh, over here is Bach, the harpsichord composer. He's looks a bit more mellow here. Uh, yeah, I'm going under his wig here. They both have big wigs, though. So, um, ah, I fell off. Okay, but anyway, guys, um, start playing. I'm gonna try to march to the beat here. Um, okay, again, stop singing, Crafterman. Okay, I'm trying to march to the beat here. Uh, am, I, am I doing this right? Or it's like a march to victory. Oh, I'm marching to the beat. Okay, um, this, uh, no, no offense, guys, but um, I'm kind of bored of this beat by now, so stop playing. I, I hope the drum dude won't mind, because there, there is no drum dude. I forgot to at a drum composer, but the real reason is, as I mentioned in my last episode, you don't even really need lessons to learn how to play the drums. All you're really doing is banging on drums. I, I bang on my, like, on my pants all the time, and believe me, I did not take lessons to do that. So let me just show you the drum set. It's one of the few instruments that actually plays. You can play the drums, you can play the bells here, you can play the cymbal. It doesn't really sound like, sound like a cymbal, but you can still play it. And here's the piano. It's, um... Some keys here, he's the harpsichord. Um, but anyway, so now the entire orchestra shall gather together to play the grand finale piece of tonight's concert. Wait, is it day or night? I can't tell with the rain. Okay, whatever. Just um this concert. And it's called the Edgemont Overture Finale. 
that's my favorite part when it gets like louder and louder. Okay, I have to stop talking about the music. You know, what? I'm just gonna listen here. That's about the it for this concert. So it was a very fun concert that I didn't get to play in, but that's probably a good thing because I am a terrible singer. I probably wouldn't be singing this concert. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next episode. And in the next episode, we're going to be starting something very special. What is it? Watch the next episode to find out.